Guys, <laughs> I think I just found something. What's up, everyone? So today I am going to go down a back road, okay, and look for something to eat. I am starving. I've got this morning at like seven o'clock. Rolled out of bed, and I was like, man, I'm hungry. Went to the fridge, there was nothing in the fridge. Went to the cabinet, a fly flew out. I tried to grab the puppy and eat that. Didn't catch it. So I have to go find something to eat. We're actually going to drive down a back road and find something to eat. Now, I'm not saying we're going to drive down a back road and find a cornfield and eat some corn out of the field. That's not what I'm talking about. We're going to go down the roads, look for some buzzards or some crows flying in the area, and see what they're eating on the side of the road. We're going to smack them out of the way. We're going to take that, and we're going to cook it on a fire. Now, there's some things I can eat and I cannot eat. What I can't eat is a venomous snake. Why? Venomous, and I don't know how to clean a venomous snake. I'm still an amateur of this roadkill eating business. Second thing, I'm not gonna eat a mouse. That's too small. It'll be enough to probably just make me hungry. And I'm not gonna eat a possum because one time, an old feller told me that he was out in a field one time and he was walking through a field and he heard something. He looked over, it was a dead cow. And the cow was dead, but he still heard something. So he got to looking at it and there was a possum eating its way out of its butt. Like it's, it's not good guys. So I'm not gonna eat a possum. I'm not gonna eat a venomous snake. I'm not gonna eat somebody's cat or dog. Like, I know I love food and I love it a lot, but I'm not gonna go down that route. I'm not gonna eat somebody's dog or cat. That's just, that's just cross the line, man. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I brought to get this job done. We got our cast iron skillet. We got our all-purpose flour. I know this makes no sense, but I'm kinda like a health guy. But anyway, we're gonna use coconut oil. Oh, baby, and we're gonna use salt and pepper. So, we're gonna make all, put all these ingredients together and we're gonna find our roadkill. We're on a journey, looking back on the things that we've taken for granted, but feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now. Oh guys, I think I just found something. Let's see how long she's been dead. Hopefully she ain't stiffer than a board. Let's check it out. Looks like, uh-oh, looks like an old squirrel. And by the looks of it, it looks like, see the back? See that back is humped up right there? Looks like it's been, yeah, okay. So yeah, it looks like it's been ran over from here up. The head and everything the front legs were ran over so i think we're gonna eat this puppy let's do it we just got back in the car and look what we got we got the squirrel all right this little guy right here is gonna be our lunch you know i don't like seeing things dead but if they're dead they're gonna go to waste anyway unless the crows or the vultures come get them so i might as well just eat this thing and kind of show you guys how to clean it cook it and we're gonna cook it in a skillet over the campfire we're just gonna have a good old time. So I gotta find an abandoned area. I can't just make a fire in the middle of the road. So the, the police might frown on that, especially if I'm cooking a squirrel. <laughs> They'll be like, what the heck? So we're gonna go down another back road, find like a remote location. And I don't even know where we're gonna find, but we're gonna find a remote location and cook this dude up. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty hungry. You guys hungry? Let's do it. Okay guys, we got her. This stuff over here, if you guys can see that, see that right there? Hang on, I gotta check it down below because you don't wanna step on copperheads. And during the time of this year, it's September, baby copperheads are being born and we don't wanna get big by a copperhead. Now this stuff right here, this stuff is actually from the floodwaters. The water level rises and stuff. Current flows this way. Stuff like this gets hung up on the tree. So it'd be perfect for throwing on the fire. Dang, that's some good stuff. Oh yeah, baby. She's burning now. Ha ha ha, we got her. Okay, so once this thing boils down to a bed of coals, we'll go ahead and put the pan on, put the coconut oil in, and fry up that squirrel. All right, since the fire is burning down behind us, we're gonna go ahead and take our cutting board right here and our squirrel. 
we're going to take this dude and i'm going to show you a trick there's all kinds of different ways of life to do things and this is one of the coolest things you'll ever know so follow me to the creek and i'll show you okay so we're going to take this guy here and we're going to take him to the creek i'm going to show you guys something pretty neat whoa baby whoa okay so what we're going to do we're going to take this little dude and we're going to dump him under the water dump him in the water let him get wet here's a fun fact for you guys do you know squirrel tails they actually use them in like paintbrushes true story wouldn't lie to you all right we got our guy wet now let's take him back over here okay so after you got this dude wet we're gonna put him in the cutting board him and I, I got my hands all bloody and i'm going to use my dive knife i love this thing 40 bucks off amazon Ooh, it's pretty cool kind of like a ninja wasn't it anyway 40 bucks off amazon called promate used to say promate right here don't say it anymore i've wore it out this dive knife is the best 40 bucks you'll ever spend. This thing's not only for fighting off sharks, man. It's for cleaning squirrels too, and I'm going to show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the top. The reason we get this thing wet is because the hair won't stick to the meat as bad. All right? So we're going to go ahead and take, slip the top. I'll try to anyway. Dang, this knife is a lot duller than I thought it was. <clears throat> Dang. All right. Slip the top, and once we got a slit, we're going to take it. All right, and we're gonna just pull it. Oh, dang. A squirrel's heart. If you've never seen a squirrel's heart, there it is, man. Little bitty old thing, not much bigger than a peanut. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we have left of our squirrel. Okay, so we're gonna cook this dude up and we're gonna see how it tastes. This is what it looks like now, all right? It looks, it looks pretty good, not gonna lie. I mean, I'm getting pretty hungry just looking at it. So we're gonna take this thing, take it to the creek, clean it off in the creek, and then once we bring it back, we'll put flour, salt, and pepper on this puppy and eat the crap out of this thing. Well, not literally. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna take this thing, rinse it off in this cool little creek right here. Make sure we get all that, mostly, the, oh, there's a kidney still left. Hang on. There. All right, let me get this thing cleaned up here, partially. All right. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, so the fire kind of died down a little more than I should, it should have, so we're gonna not eat the whole thing. We're probably just gonna take a leg or two off this thing. I mean, they look pretty dang tasty, guys. I mean, wouldn't you eat this thing? I sure would. And usually the way to just get legs off, you just break them like that. Did you hear that? That pop. And we'll just tear them and rip them apart. Oh, dang. Okay. Finished product. Squirrel legs. Okay. We're going to take our coconut oil. All right. And we're going to put this down in the pan. It's going to lean to one side, I know, but I'm going to make that hole a little bit bigger. Because it's not perfectly straight. If it was, it wouldn't, it wouldn't go down to one side like that. So let's talk a little bit about what I'm going to eat, okay? Now, I know you guys are thinking, hey, it's disgusting. Why'd you get this thing off the road, man? Like, it's just, like don't make me throw up my mouth. Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because the things that I buy... The chicken and the beef, I buy it. Sometimes I try to get organic. If you don't get organic, you're buying things that the factories like. They pump full of growth hormones and steroids. And you don't want that, all right? You really don't. So this stuff is just the closest thing to natural you can get. And it's so natural, I'll just eat it just like it is. Check this out. Mmm. 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 It's actually not bad. <laughs> you guys are definitely missing out. But anyway, Squirrel is some of the most amazing food you can eat. I'm not saying you have to squirrel hunt for the rest of your life and not go buy food because the food at the store is actually pretty good, but this stuff is actually an amazing alternative. It's a great food source if you're out in the wild and you can't find anything and you get hungry, go down the back road, man. There's tons of food. So with that being said, as always, I'll see you guys back under the water.